Man, this little Dynaglow is a rib machine, I'm here to tell you. This master built is a machine. Challenge accepted. Every barbecue in Indianapolis, Indiana, and today we're gonna smoke one rack of baby back ribs on the Dynaglow and one rack of baby back ribs on the Master Belt, and we'll decide once and for all who deems rib superiority in the backyard. Time to trim some ribs. Smoking with hickory chunks here in the Dynaglue, I like to put them at the bottom. These six hickory chunks, these are three cherry chunks. Again, I like to put them at the bottom. It's a little trick my YouTube uh, hero out there, Harry Sue, put, uh, he likes his wood at the bottom. I agree, the smoldering effect and smoking you get throughout the process. I would say I stole that from him, but for you kids out there listening, don't ever steal, borrow. Good lump going on. So I don't usually put a full chimney in there. A lot of times just Half of a chimney will do. Oh, beautiful morning here in Indianapolis. I think we're at 9 a.m. Maybe a little after nine. Best time of day. No one's housed yet. Again, uh, going with some hickory chunks. Just two this time to see how that changes. I, I believe we had too much smoke uh, in the last cook. All right, we got the fire choked down. We're at about 250 there. Hope we'll go with this rag. Hmm, some nice looking baby bags. Meaty side to the fire box here. Scrunch them up in on the top. We're running 250 on both these guys, so. The best feature of the Dynaglow ever. 
stupid latch on the bottom. Love this thing, but that latch on the bottom's got to go. Rack number two. 50, we'll throw these little. We may be having some uh, beans later. And have those up in some beans. Who wouldn't want that? You already know what these are. On the Johnsonville brats. You don't like a Johnsonville brat. I don't know what to tell. Slide those babies right down the line. Just leave them in the old diner here. Dino will take care of them. Well, it's been about an hour. Something tells me. Oh yeah, baby. It's uh, apple cider, vinegar, um, apple juice, and water, three parts. Don't ask me why there's so much of it. <laughs> Do you cook ribs every day? Kinda. Ah. Uh. Yeah, the master belt's really throwing a good smoke on her. I'm not seeing any pullback yet, but certainly these little tidbits are getting done -zo. So these may be a little pit master privilege. Yeah, those are looking good. Alright. Dying a little holding at 250. Ooh, the little brats. Yeah, at this point, our rub's pretty much set on both those racks. A little softer here in the middle, but she needs a spritz. She needs the spritz, and when she needs the spritz, you got a spritz, 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 spritz. Really not a lot of pullback yet on either of these, but they're baby backs. You know, you don't start seeing pullbacks on the baby backs for a minute here. Say spritz these brats. I'm just kidding there. say almost two hours definitely in need of a spritz oh that dino glow mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. As is the case with baby backs, you... Let me get the bottom a little bit. Yeah, we're putting them through the jet stream here. give on them. Starting to finally get some pullback. It's been a good three hours. I think I'm going to wrap and accelerate the process. Those bad boys are ready to be wrapped. Alright, with the 
Oof, swimming. Going for a swim. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think we need too much confirmation, but these have got to be in the 200s. Oh, oh no. The dino glow went a little out of control on us, folks. Yikes. 210, 211. Okay. Do. All right, about to get messy. These have a high probability of falling apart. I definitely overdid them. But hey, they've got a nice little color going. <laughs> ah, the positives. This is a little Lily's Hot Smoky. Actually a lot more than a little. Crime and Nelly. Went a little overboard there. I guess everything's a little now. Okay, dokie. Hopefully this will suffice for uh, both batches and not be qualified as using the... Oof! Barbecue sauce right on the khaki shorts. Gotta, gotta love that. Jesus. Well, I suppose it'll be a good comparison since they're both under AF. I'm not even going to attempt these. I guess I should just out of uh, respect to the other batch. Way too done. And then the 210s. Actually, this will be a little more respectable, I suppose, but respect, Ojo. We've lost that a long time ago. Okay. Grease out the rest of this. Batch one. are howling. They know what's up. Well, don't be cruel, Joe. Give me a bite. Oh, yeah.
this is the master belt batch here that clearly doesn't want to give up the foil. That's fine, I don't want to flip you anyway. slicing okay uh, but certainly a little little bit overdone and probably more than a little bit but thank goodness it's not a competition <laughs> all right master belt there I could be like Sam the cooking guy on YouTube and grab the whole roll and just wipe it all over my face and hands. That's my favorite. Not that the guy after him's totally screwed, but uh, you know. Who's thinking about anybody in this day and age? The consideration I ask you. This is the Dynaglow rack, and I've got to tell you, it's already got more of a mahogany color. Can you tell I'm biased? It uh, certainly did cook faster, I'll fess up to that, so it's more than likely going to be even more tender and more messy. But this, I mean, they're both about the same temp and the two tens a little more than you would like. Um, certainly feels like this rack might be a little meatier, so the comparison may be unfair. We'll see. Not much of a smoke ring on either. Well, I take that back. Uh, the, maybe the master belt has more of a uh, actual ring going on. Yeah, that's just the way you hate to see it. Time for the comparison. We've worked this hard. Uh, I'll do the double slice here from the master belt. You guys can see that there. Um, pretty solid smoke ring for the uh, machine. Man versus machine. Not a bad bite through. They're not terribly overdone. Like I, the um, master belt definitely did not get as thoroughly smoked as the Dynaglow. But we'll see what uh, what it's like in the taste. Not bad. Nothing wrong with that master built rib. No one's kicking you out of a party for that. Um, we'll give this Dynaglow a shot and put all the doubters to rest. Um, just not as pronounced a smoke ring. I mean, just there. But we'll see where the taste is. Mmm. I mean, there we go. So it's 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 overdone, but it's not terrible. I mean, I gave it. Three good pulls there before it fell off the bone, but uh, very tender. I really see the grain of the pork in this one. Ooh. Definitely a thicker rib for the dynamic glue there. I'm gonna have to give the edge to the Dynaglow. My biases are known. But that meat's tender. 
Um, nothing dry about this though. It's just um, real good pork flavor from the from the Dynago, and might be a little bit overdone, but uh, hey, no losers in this battle. Thanks for putting up with me on the YouTube here. <laughs>